Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you step by step how to manufacture an uh, into roller blind. So let's go, get it started and um, the first thing now I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to show you how what what components we will need to make this blind uh, up. So uh, we're going to need the um, uh, a pair of side channels. Uh, bottom bar. Tube. It's a. Uh, it's 25 mil tube, by the way. Fascia cover. And the last but not least, a piece of fabric. Okay, now. And the very first step is to uh, assemble uh, the tube. And to do so, I'm gonna need a spring and uh, an idle end. So the spring goes into the, uh, into the tube. It doesn't matter which way. And on the other side, uh, I'm going to put uh, an idle end in. I'm trying to avoid knocking the, uh, the metal pin in it because it would uh, push it uh, inside and we don't need that. Okay, and now I'm going to put the, the tube, assembled tube, on the fabric. And the fabric, uh, the front of the fabric has to face up. It doesn't matter much uh, with this fabric because it's, it's the same on both sides. But basically the rule is that uh, you need to have the, the, the front of the fabric facing, uh, facing up. And then. And the uh, what it is, the uh, we need to have the uh, the flat pin, flat pin end of the tube on the right hand side. And the edge of the fabric has to be um, flush with the with the plastic end or uh, of the um, on the tube here. And then I'm sticking the fabric onto uh, sticky tape on the tube using using the tape as my guide where where to stick the fabric on. We need to make sure that the fabric is put on the on the tube as straight as, as possible so it doesn't skew uh, afterwards okay and now then the next step is to cut out the corners of the fabric uh, to put the, the bottom bar on it later on and uh, to, to, to cut out the, uh, the corners uh, on the fabric, I'm going to have to use uh, a notch tool and use, the, um, and use it as a template. Now just cut it out.
Okay, now the next step is to is to put the bottom bar on the bottom of the fabric here. But firstly, in order to do it, we're going to have to put the, um, the uh, transparent uh, self-adhesive uh, tape on the bottom of it. Like so. And to make sure that it's not going to come off the fabric, I'm going to staple it um, on the fabric as well. And now, Fold it, uh, fold it over once, so you see the back of the staples showing on the, on the front. Then, and simply slide the um, the the fabric into the uh, into the bottom bar, into uh, the groove on the bottom bar here. This one. Okay, once we put the bottom bar on the fabric, I'm going to put the uh, bottom bar end caps on. And using using the uh, special uh, screws for, for the bottom bar, um, I, I'm fixing the uh, the uh, bottom bar end caps onto the uh, bottom bar, like so. Okay, our tube is done now, and the next step is is preparing the uh, the fascia, the fascia to put the fabric in uh, afterwards. So um, what I'm going to do now, I'm putting the um, uh, fascia brackets on the on the uh, into the fascia, like so. One on each end. And now I'm going to put the uh, the tube with the fabric on into the into the fascia. But before I do it, I'm going to have to put the uh, tension the. Uh, the, the spring by uh, putting um, a couple of turns uh, uh, on the spring here and to do that uh, I'm going to use a tensioning tool here and the way it works uh, I'm going to put turns clockwise uh, on it and uh, the amount of turns uh, is determined by the, by the size of the, of the, of the tube this one is only 500 millimeters, so um, I think six turns would be um, sufficient enough to have this uh, uh, the spring uh, tensioned uh, uh, in the tube. So, like I said, uh, five, uh, six turns. Let's say six turns uh, clockwise. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then there are two slots. There are two slots uh, 
uh, on the um, uh, fascia, uh, fascia bracket and because the, the drop on this blind isn't isn't big really it's only 500 millimeters so the amount of the uh, the, the the fabric on the on the tube is is not big so I, i'm going to i'm going to i'm going to slot it into the um, into the bottom bottom slot if the drop was much bigger let's say 2 meters obviously the volume of the fabric on the tube would be much greater and then putting in the bottom uh, bottom bar might result in rubbing the fabric uh, against the uh, against the uh, uh, fascia here so um, uh, we use the top one only for for the blinds with massive massive drops or thick fabric here and then the other end the flat the flat pin likewise the other one uh, the other end has to go into the bottom one like so okay and now to make sure that the uh, that the gap between the bracket and bracket and the edge of the fascia is equal on uh, each uh, each end i'm going to use the um, the notch tool again and the uh, the longer slot here okay that's it and now to to fix the uh, fascia brackets in place. I'm going to use these screws. Okay, as you can see, it, it works smooth enough. Now the next step is uh, is to put the um, the fascia covers on uh, on each end of the of the fascia. And they slot in into the grooves on the fascia here. And now the other side. Okay, and uh, and the blind is done now. Now I'm going. Uh, I'm going to prepare the uh, the side channels for it. And uh, to do that, I'm going to punch the uh, the holes in the side channels in order to put the end caps on. And to do that, uh, I'm using uh, this. Uh, punch tool here and now I've punched the the holes in the in the side channels and uh, I'm going to put the um, hand caps on it because so what we need to do that is uh, a pair of uh, top locking side channel brackets and caps sorry 
and bottom locking uh, as such on end caps. To make sure that you, that you use the, uh, the the right the right one is before before you put it into the the hole here, just make sure that this edge of the of the end cup matches uh, the the shorter edge on the uh, on on the side channel here. It's important to do it because if you don't match it and you put the wrong one on, it's very hard to, to take it out because it uh, clicks into that hole there. Okay, and now, and now the, uh, the bottom. Uh, and cups. The same principle as with these. Smudge, match them up be fiercely before you put them on. And cut the excess off. Okay, and the side channels are done now. And now the, the very last step of making this blind is to prepare all the all the fixings, uh, fixings, and um, I've got them all ready here. And what we need to send along with the blind is the um, bottom bracket, bo bo a pair of bottom brackets. A pair of um, top brackets, clear handle for the bottom bar, and uh, and four uh, retaining brackets. These are for for the side channels, and um, and the, the amount that needs to be sent along with the blind determined uh, is determined by the uh, by the drop side. The longer the side channels, the more of the retaining brackets uh, have to be sent uh, sent with the with the blind. This is only five five hundred millimeters. So for five hundred millimeters, we need to send uh, two for uh, each one. And if it's longer, it works out that uh, we need to add up one every uh, five hundred millimeters. So for instance, if this one was uh, if these were one meter uh, long we would have to send uh, three for each one, so six all together. And the, the last thing that we send with the blind is the, um, is the fixing, uh, uh, fixing tool. This being sent with the blind only if it's requested by the customer. Okay, that's it folks. I hope this video really helps. And if you have any questions, give me a shout. <laughs>